Apostle, I'm struggling with sickness. Go to that which is written. Open your Bible. Find out there were sick people in the Bible who were healed. What did they do? This world is not designed for spirits. It's a three-dimensional framework of existence. Three-dimensional entity. So in case a spirit has jurisdiction within this context, a man permitted that spirit to function. In fact, prayer is earthly permission for heavenly interference. Galatians 1.24, I'm teaching tonight on the subject, they glorified God in me. They glorified God in me. Hallelujah. They glorified God in me. In my life, be glorified, be glorified in my life. Be glorified, be glorified. You get the glory, you get the glory, you get the praise, you get the praise, you take the honor. I just want to say, you get, you get the glory, you get the praise, you take the honor. I just want to say, thank you. So, in my life, my life, be glorified, be glorified. Be glorified. Be glorified. Matthew chapter 5 and verse 13. Jesus is teaching now, teaching the disciples, and he began to teach them a few things that will form the foundation of our discussion. He said, Ye are the salt of the earth. But if the salt has lost its sever, wherewith shall it be salted? It is henceforth good for nothing, but to be cast out and to be trodden under foot of men. 14. Then he says, Ye are the light of the world. You are a city that is set on a hill that cannot be hid. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick and it giveth light to all that are in the house verse 16 now he says let your light so shine before men someone says so shine declare it so shine so shine before men that they may see your good works and it's not enough that they see your good works it stops at just seeing and appreciating your good works then it has not brought profit to the kingdom seeing your good works is one level and one layer but they must end up glorifying your father which is in heaven hallelujah write that word glorify down let's talk a bit about that word to glorify means number one to make famous to glorify means to announce the worth or the value of a person or a thing to glorify means number one to make famous number two it means to announce the worth or the value of a thing and a person to glorify means to compel the attention of men towards that object or that person to glorify means number three to compel the attention of men towards that person or towards that object these are all the expressions when you talk of glorify these are the things that it means so when the bible says let your light so shine before men that they may see your good deeds and glorify you can now replace it with what you've written what's number one 
to make famous are we are we together now yes to make famous number two to announce the value and the worth that means it is your assignment to make sure that whatever name or whatever object is not downplayed is not demeaned not under your watch that's what it means to glorify are we together now to glorify your father which art in heaven number three to compel the attention of many that means if for any reason anyone is not looking towards that direction something about your life will compel that attention so that they can look towards that object or that individual that it was that's what it means to glorify to extol to make the worth of a person or a thing visible are we together now when most people read this scripture please give it to us again 5 16 matthew when most people read the scripture the part that their attention would get to is see your good works and then it stops there so behind most of the things that we do as believers subconsciously we think that just by seeing the wonderful things automatically the father is glorified the bible here says that they may see your good works and that means it is not compulsory that seeing your good works will lead to the father being glorified it is your assignment to make what they see force them to glorify god so they can see your good works and just clap for you as a great person an intelligent person but there is a way you present it the key is not their seeing the key is in your presentation there is a way you present the good works and the results in a way that will make people to make his fame or make him glorious in that sense to compel attention that means if people see your good works and they do not end up glorifying your father your good works does not have spiritual value at best they will just clap for you for being diligent is someone learning now oh that's pastor gideon god bless you good to see you let's celebrate him hallelujah let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works but it should not just stop at seeing that means your good works must be a preacher there is a kind of sermon that your good works must preach are we together something about your results and your good works must compel people to glorify the father if you're with me already say amen, amen. do you know please look up most believers and most christians desire results say results we desire to see results in every area of our lives and it is god's will and god's desire that our christian experiences are full of results in fact in that same um that same matthew 5 um no 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 john john chapter you have not called me but i have called you and ordained you that you should go and bear fruit john chapter 15 and verse 16 when you read verse 8 you read verse 16 give us verse 16 you have not chosen me but i have chosen you and ordained i've taught you what it means to ordain to legitimize an operation that you should go and bring forth fruit listen carefully and that your fruit should remain are we together i have ordained you to go and bring forth fruit to go and bring forth fruit so god is not against the believer having and producing results but I, my goal of teaching you tonight is to let you know why many sincere believers who may even be doing many things right do not seem to be able to command results in certain areas it is because we have not understood that our ministry as far as the manifestation of results is not just for men to see and acknowledge us but that we must move past that layer until you get to a point where god is glorified in and through your life and your results you cannot secure his commitment to perpetually working in that result 
hallelujah are we together many of you know people in especially those who market products there are those who they call brand ambassadors have you heard of such a thing a brand ambassador that means an authorized individual who has a contract with the company is that true and his job is to use his influence and to promote the product so that individual within the time of that contract is mandated to if it's a shirt he will wear it if it's a product they will give him if it's a car they will give him that car free provided he knows why he's driving it if you are a brand ambassador for mercedes and they catch you with toyota even if you have toyota in your house within the limit of that contract you are supposed to limit yourself to only that product because the goal is not just to drive it the goal is that your influence will compel people to want to follow you suit is someone understanding this now and for as long as you sign that contract with them it is their responsibility to make the resources available provided you remain a brand ambassador in nigeria and across the globe there are people who later compromise on their contract they found them promoting something else leveraging on the influence of those people you need to see how they teach and they train brand ambassadors someone who may not even necessarily be able to do certain things immediately they are given resources are we together they can fly first class priority treatments and all that is not necessarily because they had the power to give themselves those possibilities but they had subscribed that i donate my life my words my gift my singing my looks my whatever to promote this product and sometimes it can last for three five years and you will see what they are investing on that individual and even be angry and say how come they are spending over 10 million until you find out what they gain back in return are we together for as long as that individual is a brand ambassador the company is mandated to protect them you don't come to wele that individual and the company keeps quiet because their interest is at stake is someone learning now you need to understand what jesus is saying here let your light so shine before men he says that they may see your good deeds and then glorify through your life glorify your father which is in heaven that means if the father is not being glorified in your life in your generation in your time in your region you have to take the responsibility is one of three things number one either you are not an ambassador or number two you are an ambassador that is barren of results or number three the presentation of your results is such that you are the one taking the glory it has to be one of these three is someone learning now let me repeat again that if the father is not acknowledged and glorified in a territory in a generation then the believers it has to be one of three explanations number one it is either you are not a true ambassador are you together now so when he says i have called you and ordained you it means no power should question your producing results because you were ordained and authorized by a government that is potent mm. this is powerful there is a spiritual immigration system that keeps calling foul over the lives of people because number one they are not true ambassadors and yet they want the honor of ambassadors are we together now they are not believers they don't care about god they don't love the things of god but they want the miracles god produces they want the fame god produces they want the anointing that comes from a believer but they are not interested in that and they will try ask the sons of skiva they tried it we adjure you by jesus whom paul preaches and that that red line happened in the realm of the spirit the demons themselves said we are not that ignorant jesus we know a man approved of god paul we know a man approved of god who are you in other words what government are you representing and the bible says the demons beat those people and they went out naked is someone learning now 
so if the father is not glorified i will say it again the father that means if the worth the relevance the fame of the father and of the kingdom is not being perpetuated within your environment there are only three explanations number one we have to examine whether you are a true representative of the kingdom we have to vet your being saved and we have to vet your passion for god if you truly love him and desire to see him lifted is someone is someone following now then number two if we do verify that you are a legitimate ambassador the second area now becomes you must be ignorant about something that your being your 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 representation is not effective because you are now barren of results it is possible to be a believer it is possible to be with jesus and yet not have results that's what happened to the disciples they were with jesus and so the day they did not see jesus they came to them they came to them with one who already had a condition are we together now and they could not help that person they did everything they knew to do proximity to jesus does not automatically guarantee results the disciples were close to him they probably were sleeping on the same bed or the same area and yet it could not work how about elisha and gehazi he took the same rod that will produce miracles laid it upon a dead body and nothing happened and the prophet said get out it's not about the rod there is a relationship factor in this thing there is a knowledge factor in this so if your life is not producing these kinds of results number one we have to examine if you are really in the faith then number two we have to examine the extent and the kind of spiritual illumination that supports your desire for results hallelujah when you watch the power holding company there are times that the voltage is very low it cannot power certain gadgets is that true so there is light but not enough to power that gadget can i tell you please look up there are many people in time past in the body of christ and even in creation who have been trusted with tremendous levels of results and yet in the midst of it the father was not glorified what then is the purpose of the church if he's not revealed and glorified what then is the purpose of the business if it's not revealed and glorified what then is the purpose of the money if it's not revealed and glorified for most of us we have forgotten that we have been bought with a price and that we are brand ambassadors do not forget that the brand you are promoting is not toyota the brand you are promoting is not mercedes-benz i know you love your car and every time you fix that mercedes-benz label so that people can see it and know it's not a fake one but let me see what you are doing to the name of jesus show me the adjustments that you make to make sure that from a distance when people see it, they know that this one is jesus you are promoting hallelujah is someone hearing now immediately you can tell what category you are in right now from this discussion there are those who are not authorized ambassadors because they do not even know the king nor the kingdom that this is all about number two there are those who are in the kingdom but have not obtained sufficient light for their witness to be visible and then there are those who have truly paid their price but you see with increase and with result comes a lot of forgetfulness let it not be we're discussing with the leaders and the workers yesterday that when you have built houses huh, and built this and that and that when god now increases your ministry now you are a millionaire now you have money now god uses your church whatever it is and you forget that i am a brand ambassador do not make the mistake of vashti if Vashti was a bad woman from the beginning, the king would not marry her. He married her because at some point in her life, she seemed to be a worthy wife, but something happened. When she got into the palace, you know in the palace those days, you didn't do anything. Just snap your finger and everything would come. And so Vashti forgot that she was only queen 
because she married a king not because she fought any war and won her sitting on that throne is because of relationship not personal conquest and the king now called for her you are my wife you are my image so she just felt no this is your thing i'm tired i'm embarrassed you can't keep falling my hand like this i have my own agenda too and that was the end of it do you know the king was so good he did not even want to do anything to her it was the elders who came and said king don't keep quiet this will become a trend she will now be promoting another brand rebellion being that brand he said let that woman get out there is no record of her saying sorry and she left now esther wanted to make the same mistake too a village girl who was taken from shushan and when she became queen when it was time her man was plotting to destroy god's people and she was the only person being his wife who had access to his ears and his heart aside from her man and mordecai would imagine that she would leverage on that influence to quickly talk to him and she seemed nonchalant and her man i mean mordecai sent her a warning he said do not think you know let it not be have you let it not be that it was for so, so such a time as this that god has raised you in other words do not think when they are done with us you will also be spared you are also a jew and esther remembered ah i've forgotten that the reason why he brought me here is to see that his purposes are preserved and she said set yourselves to fast forget about whatever royalty we are going to fast tell everyone to fast and she went before the king if i perish i perish and the king lifted the golden censer esther what is wrong and she said no problem king i just want to put a feast to honor you and let you be so well represented as captain over 127 provinces the king said my god this is i'm hearing something that i've been looking for for a long time he said and please can her man also come for that party and the foolish man also joined and went he went the first time the king was so his glory was so flaunted listen without her asking the king said can you make this happen again and she did it again and when she had worn his heart the bible says when it was now the feast of wines she now came wine i will not even talk about that there's power in wine and she came and met the king after he was happy at the height of his excitement and she says king you see that i've represented you sincerely oh yes but i have a need fine you have focused on meeting my need i must be a faithful husband what is your need there is a traitor somewhere that person wants to destroy my people and destroy the agenda of god who is that person and he said her man ah but i'm close to her man the bible says he went into the garden a wise king to think about it and her man now went and knelt down close to her to beg her when he came out and he said what is happening i'm thinking of what to do with you and you are now complicating this go and hang him the same thing he plotted for he was hung there as a testimony let me tell you you don't know how far god can go when you have vowed that your life will represent him there are battles you will not know anything about is when god god is done with them he will come to you and say let me tell you what would have happened to you last year however i went before you because your heart is determined to see me lifted hallelujah hear me please pastors apostles bishops prophets we need to understand that when god begins to produce results through our lives listen carefully most of our results in this kingdom are largely based on principles not necessarily relationships so if your results just happen like that except you present that result in a way and a manner that it spells jesus listen carefully it is possible that people can clap and you end up becoming a celebrity not an ambassador there is a difference between a celebrity and an ambassador a celebrity has influence an ambassador has purpose there is a big difference between a celebrity and an ambassador 
a celebrity let me repeat has influence by whatever value they provide but an ambassador has purpose that my influence is not just a waste it's not just for the sake of it it is for purpose god has not called us to be celebrities he has called us to be ambassadors if being a celebrity is part of the pathway that leads you to becoming an ambassador then he will make it happen this message is very powerful go and listen to it again it explains why certain people may not seem to be able to secure god's commitment there is something about their lives that is not determined to see him glorified don't forget what we are discussing tonight and they glorified god in me and they glorified god in me hallelujah is someone already learning they glorified God in me now please look up if I know that my results or the glorification of the king is directly tied to my result then I now pursue obtaining result not as a carnal quest are we together now I pursue it because now I have purpose to what I am doing is someone getting me now if I know that the healing anointing working in my life the miraculous working in my life influence working in my life will directly translate to Jesus being glorified now I will not be afraid to pursue those things if I know being prosperous will help me to become a faithful witness I can now obtain grace to attract prosperity without feeling ashamed because I know that the goal is not to lift up myself the goal is to lift up Jesus there is no shame when the goal is Jesus did you hear me there is no shame there is no regret there is no guilt when the goal is Jesus there is no shame there is no guilt there is no regret when the goal is Jesus hallelujah when the goal is Jesus when the goal is you something is wrong when the goal is just a name something is wrong let me repeat myself again that there is no shame there is no guilt and there is no regret to your pursuit if your goal is Jesus if you die seeking Jesus there is no shame and there is no loss if you live seeking Jesus there is no shame and there is no loss if because of your desire to see Jesus revealed you will you give up an opportunity to be great and famous once your goal is Jesus there is no shame there is no loss there is no guilt someone is learning tonight so when you come to the Lord father I have come tonight I'm tired of being broke I am tired of being broke I hope you are hearing me God says I'm hearing you loud and clear Lord what is it that you cannot make me prosper you even open the Bible and say apostle said yesterday I'm the seed of Abraham and he said listen to him he has not finished preaching listen to what he's saying now what did Abraham do what did Abraham do with his money what did Abraham do with his energy what did Abraham do with his son I will tell you what he did he took it to the altar for the God of heaven Isaac would die for the God of heaven he did not mind even if it was going to affect his influence he rose up early in the morning and dragged Isaac as if he was not the one who gave birth to him let's go we discussed this yesterday God was watching him let me see if he understands the purpose of the blessing let me see if he understands the purpose of the anointing let me see if he understands the purpose of fame and Abraham laid him on that altar and lifted up the knife and God says stop I have seen ah, I have seen for now I know that you fear me in that you have not withhold your, you withheld your son and he said I swear by my name that in blessing I will bless you in multiplying I will multiply you this is where we miss it I said it yesterday the works of Abraham and they glorified God in me please don't forget everything we have discussed so far 
defining the word glorify because it is a key word in this discussion tonight and then showing what may be wrong when the father and Jesus his son are not glorified within a, in fact John 17 and verse 1 even Jesus subscribed to this law of glorifying the father John 17 and verse 1 these words spake Jesus and lifted up his eyes to heaven and said father the hour is come glorify thy son that thy son may glorify thee so why does he glorify the son that thy son will glorify thee prosper the son that thy son would glorify you make the son famous lord lift up koinonia that koinonia may glorify you let me tell you when this becomes your prayer you step back and watch god his jealousy clear every mountain before you please keep that scripture let's not just brush it there glorify thy son give thy son the healing anointing give thy son influence take your son here does not just mean male anybody male or female are we together give your daughter a good husband that she may glorify you and god will say amen before you say amen but you pray a nonsense carnal prayer oh god i'm tired of suffering god said you are not serious when it becomes lined up with purpose remember the difference between a celebrity and an ambassador both of them have influence but one has purpose most people want to be celebrities and not ambassadors so when you build the church or you build the empire you make the mistake of nebuchadnezzar now you raise a stature and it is not jesus by the time we watch the people building nebuchadnezzar statue we don't know what else he's building we have to keep watching because we see him using gold and it is safe to assume that he's using it to exalt jesus and somewhere along as we see that carving we start seeing a face that does not look like jesus and the man was carving himself how about the nation of israel that used the gold that god gave them when they started building an image you would think it's jesus and all of a sudden they built a calf and began to bow to him you are the one who brought us out you can use money to build your image like nebuchadnezzar don't be too quick to laugh at nebuchadnezzar you can use your gift you can use ministry to build your face apostle joshua selman and god says that is it that was what all what your fasting and prayer you fasted almost as if you will go blind this is all what is about cars houses crowd anointing is that it from my heart to the heavens jesus be the center it's all about you yes it's all about you from my heart to the heavens jesus be the center it's all about you yes it's all about you from beginning to the end it will always be it's always been you jesus oh jesus listen for many of you while you are seated here let me tell you why it looks like god is not answering your prayer it is because he has found out that there is nothing in your life that is interested in glorifying the lord there are many people here you're not be, you're not prospering it's an act of god's mercy to you to still keep you relevant because if money touches your hand with this state of heart you will be a casualty first to yourself jesus at the center of my life jesus at the center of my life from beginning to the end it will always be it's always been you jesus oh jesus koinonia please hear me let me tell you this if you think what god is doing in this ministry it's just because a man of God is powerful called Joshua Selman. Think again. 
look at me this is all of me you are seeing it's not like there's part of me somewhere this is it you are seeing you are intelligent and you went to school can a man like this produce these results you are seeing no there are some results that men cannot produce my dear people even if you are not spiritual we are educated let me tell you the secret when you hide behind the cross and you say father it is for your glory that this is about this business i want to set up i want to establish the biggest mall in zaria the biggest mall in nigeria and the desire is that through the presentation of that excellence or whatever it is there are people who covenanted with god and say lord your house is in need of resources can you trust me and they meant it and god said that's it clear the way and they woke up in the morning and stumbled into business opportunities that changed their lives in one night when you are talking to them as business people you will see the gaps in their knowledge you will know they are not supposed to get this result however the master has chosen because of the sincerity of their heart is someone learning now this is one of the biggest secrets in this ministry believe me that that lust and that desire i want this i want that i want this and you find out that you are strangely producing results powerful results but nobody in your family is safe through your result all that is happening in your family is just jealousy and envy something is wrong your presentation is not such your presentation is showing them i am better than you not jesus is the one who is behind this is someone learning now a man of god met me one day and he had followed me teaching and I, I i told him i said if god says i should close down koinonia now i will do it and he laughed he said apostle you are bold though i won't make that kind of statement and then by next week come and find out that uh, what if the devil uses a wrong you know image and lies to you and all of that and i told him what are you afraid of your statement is a product of the fear of something what are you afraid of that's what you should solve okay let's assume it was a lie and satan said it and you close it then what your ego your reputation that's what needs deliverance it's not about closing and opening the ministry no at all for your glory i will do anything just to see you to behold you as my king for your glory i will do anything just to see you to behold you as my king before we continue i want you in one minute to pray and say lord i don't know what may have been the purpose for my desire for power and for results some of you you just want to cure hardship some of you you are tired of being looked down on these things are not enough reason please pray in one minute lord search my heart yet again man of god are you praying apostle i want to travel to america what for apostle i want to marry a multi-millionaire nothing wrong with that but what for apostle i think i need a car or i need a new car what for i want to complete my building project by the end of this year what for do you want to be a celebrity or an ambassador what are you looking for fame or to see the purposes of god lifted through your life someone pray hallelujah hallelujah 
Do you understand all I've taught so far? There is nothing wrong in desiring results. I've shown you from the scripture. He says we are salt and he says we are light. Are we together? In fact, he even says if your salt loses its saltiness, its ability to preserve, its ability to add taste and value, you will be thrown underfoot and trampled by men. So God desires us to produce results more than we will ever desire. But first things first, the first thing to fix is to know that it is beyond seeing your good works. They must glorify your Father which is in heaven. Hallelujah.